channel. So today I'm going to a Dollar Tree here in Ogden. I'm on 5700 South. I wanted to come in here and see if I could find anything different than what they have where I'm from in Logan. Hopefully I can find some more Easter stuff and yeah, a bunch of new stuff. So let's go see what they have. So when you walk in, you can tell that this dollar store was a little bit behind. Their shelves were a little bare, but they did have some Easter stuff out. And some of this Easter stuff is stuff that I haven't seen at the Dollar Trees in my area. I love these Easter baskets. I remember these from last year. I think they are adorable. I also really like these. These would be great for a DIY. They have a bunch of tinsel out. Those would be so cute on a garland. I think it is a garland, but you could do so much with those bunnies. I think they're adorable. I thought this little chick was cute, and I love this little Easter bunny holding the carrot. So these are kind of like the same as last year, but I think they are a little bit different. They also had these last year, and I am still obsessed. I love the blue and pink one and also the pink and yellow. Here are some of their wall decor. They also had some jumbo Easter eggs that you could hang on maybe a tree outside. I thought that was really a cute idea. And then some of their yard stakes. This is some of their Easter basket stuffers they had. Some of this stuff I haven't seen at my Dollar Trees. I have hauled these. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll go ahead and link it above. I think these are such a great deal because they can get pretty spendy at places like Walmart. I actually bought this for my son, that little Nerf gun thing, and it works really well. Um, I thought these were cute. They're like little um, light brights, but miniature. Those are adorable. They have some puzzles. They had some more squishy toys. These are like the stress balls. And here is some of their fairy garden stuff that they have out. All of the Dollar Trees in my area, um, you actually can't really find any fairy garden stuff. But some of these other Dollar Trees that I went to outside of my area, they did have a lot of fairy garden stuff still left. They had some adorable trinket trays, you guys. I love this one. So cute. I love the lashes. Some more of their fairy garden items. I love the little roses. And here they actually had a ton of these ice cream themed fairy garden garden things. <laughs> okay, they had some Transformers blind bags, which I thought was pretty cool. And here are some of their dice. I know there's a lot of you out there looking for these. You are having a hard time finding them. They're great for DIYs. I've seen some amazing DIYs with those dice, you guys. I thought these were cute, these construction sets or little tool sets. I actually haven't seen these before. Perfect for an Easter basket if you have a little boy. And now I love this. They have little Finding Nemo toys, and I love Dory. Absolutely my favorite. So I thought those were really fun. Now, I think these were Play-Doh. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but they did have some really cute characters. They had Minnie. Um, they were Disney, so they had Frozen. They also had some Toy Story 4. Olaf. We got Daisy and Minnie. And here are some of their toys that they had out. I did show some of these in the last video at the Dollar Tree I, I seen these at. But this Dollar Tree had a couple different ones. Like, I haven't seen these Muppet Babies. Those are cute. They have some more of these Barbie toys. This one is an astronaut. They got a soccer player, a cake decorator, bunch of cute stuff. Here is their crafting section. I know at my Dollar Trees it's hard to find that cross um, wreath form. It's very hard to find that, but this Dollar Tree did have one. And you guys, I don't know if I just haven't noticed these in my Dollar Trees, but I have never seen these, and I think they are so cool. They're just little wood stumps. You could do so many cute things with those. I really like these. These are would also be perfect for DIYing, these little signs. 
they had an oval sign and also an arrow sign would sign it I actually haven't seen now I love these these are so cute and I could not get over these mermaid tails they were actually quite large and they're really pretty if you have a little girl that loves mermaids these would be perfect for their room or even a bathroom I think these would be cute here are some angels one holding a dove one holding a book and then one that is praying and then here are some of their wood signs I really like these new door hangers that they have. Current mood, catnap in progress, and I am a mermaid unicorn fairy princess. I think that is adorable. And I actually like the new ones they have out for these wall decor. I think they're really cute. That one is a Norwal. I like this wild and free one. Too cute for this planet. Absolutely adorable. Perfect for a little girl's room. Now, is it me or is this kind of a good deal? I feel like this puff brand tissue in the big box is a good deal for the Dollar Tree. All right, now we are at the second location. This one is another one in Ogden. I will link the address down below. But this one you can tell they had more, if not most, of their Easter stuff up. I love these little um, Cottontail Crossing and Easter Bunny, Easter Hunt signs. I think those are really cute. I haven't seen these in any of my Dollar Tree. This is new. So this chick is ready for Easter. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Super adorable. And the hunt is on. Now I remember these bunnies from last year. One is like coming out of a hat, if I remember right. And you guys, I still love this bunny with the carrots. Super adorable. Now, I wanted to go look and see if they had any canvases that I haven't seen. And you guys, this Dollar Tree had a lot. Um, the Dollar Trees in my areas, they never have any good canvas art. But you guys, I found some really cute stuff. I love that succulent. This, this one that says, bless this mess. Absolutely farmhouse. Totally love it. And I think these llamas are so adorable, you guys. So I'll just go ahead and show you all of the ones that they had here. I think this one is cute. A true love story never ends. So they did have some cute canvases and they also had these which I hadn't seen before. They're kind of different, a little funky, but I think they're cute. I like this one. Relax, it is just a phase. This camel one is kind of cute. I love the stripes. And then just some more wall art. I love this. I love the little heart with the dream catcher. They had a ton of these. And I haven't actually seen these crosses before, but I am in love with these. I love the prayers or the the sayings or the scriptures <laughs> that are on these crosses. I love the black and white. And look how cute these rainbows are. This one says, hello world. And there is one back there that says, dream big little one. I think those are totally adorable. And I thought these were interesting. These lunchbox notes. Um, on the back here, you can see all the different notes that you can leave your kids if you make them a home lunch. Love the lemons. They did have some farmhouse wall pictures in frames which I thought were cute um, I really loved these glass candle holders I love the iridescent I think those are really pretty and I haven't seen these before 
I really like the color of these as well. So I thought these would be really cute if you wanted to paint them white and put a succulent on top. Absolutely adorable. Um, this Dollar Tree had a lot of little trinkets out on their display. We have coral and we have white. If you have like a beach theme or a nautical theme, those would be perfect. Here are some of their new candles. I love the eyelashes. I think it is so adorable. So this whole display was kind of going for that beach theme, um, but I haven't seen these candle holders and I absolutely love them. They're actually quite large. They kind of remind me of the ones that I fell in love with last year that say homemade. If you remember those, a comment below. Um, but they also had, you'll see here in a minute, they also had these other ones that I thought were super adorable. Here are the ones, oh, there's the ones that say homemade. Some more mermaid tails, but these are the ones I was talking about right here, you guys. I love these candle holders. I think they are beautiful. I love the detail of the glass. Here are some coffee mugs that I have seen, but haven't seen in a while at my Dollar Trees, so... I just wanted to share those with you guys. They have some really cute coffee mugs. And this is the third location. Again, I will link the address in the description box below. But these are new. I haven't seen these Easter decor pieces yet. I love the one with the Easter bunny. And I love this wooden sign that says Happy Easter. I love the font. I love the bunny. It would be so much fun to DIY. You could even put that on a wreath. I think it would be adorable. This Dollar Tree had some of their twine carrots. And these I haven't seen. These are some squishy toys that um, are perfect for Easter baskets. They have cheeseburgers, pretzels, and hot dogs. Look how adorable this Easter bunny is. I love how the little bow is black and white. Buffalo check. These are the cutest little Easter bunnies. I am definitely going to have to get some of those. I really like the ribbon they had. They had this big green one. They also had the purple one. Back here you can see they had some black and yellow which I've seen all those ones before, but none of my Dollar Trees have this one. I love this black with the colorful sparkly um, shine in them. I think it's adorable. My girls are obsessed with scrunchies, so I wanted to show you guys these adorable scrunchies they had. Very fun, and it's actually a really good brand. It is named brand for Dollar Tree, so they had some really cute hair accessories. And then I love the new dishware they have right now. Um, it definitely gives me the Pioneer Woman vibe. Absolutely adore it. I love the blue and yellow. Perfect spring colors. And I love these cups that say bloom where you're planted. All right. That is all I have for this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if no one has told you they love you today, guys, I do. I will see you in the next video. Bye.